In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to solve problems involving wavelength and frequency. Question 1 reads, calculate the wavelength in nanometers of the red light emitted by a barcode scanner that has a frequency of 4 decimal 62 times 10 to the power of 14 per second. To find the wavelength of this barcode, we have to use the following formula, where frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. We've been told the frequency, so we know that f is equal to the value shown over here. The speed of light is a constant, and that's right here. So all we have to do is rearrange. So let's go ahead and rearrange for the symbol lambda. We have the frequency is equal to c over lambda. I'll multiply both sides by the wavelength. This cancels out, and then I'll divide both sides by f. This gives us the wavelength is equal to the speed of light over the frequency. Next, I'll substitute this number into c. So I have 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second over the frequency of 4.62 times 10 to the power of 14. And this is per second. So what will happen is this seconds unit and this unit will cancel out leaving us only with meters. Using our calculator we have 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 4.62 times 10 to the power of 14. This gives us a very small number of approximately 6.49 times 10 to the power of negative 7. And we want this to three significant figures, so I'll stop writing after this 9. I'll write down 6.49 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters. Remember, the question wants it in nanometers, and that's written right here. So what I'll do is convert this into nanometers using this conversion ratio. So 6.49 times 10 to the power of negative 7 meters times 1 nanometer is equal to 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. This will cancel out with this, leaving us only with nanometers. Now using the laws of exponents, we can cheat a little bit here. We have 10 to the power of negative 7 over 10 to the power of negative 9. Negative 7 minus negative 9 is equal to negative 7 plus 9, which is 2. So we have 6.49 times 10 to the power of 2 nanometers, or simply 649 nanometers. In question number two, we're asked, a laser used to dazzle the audience at a rock concert emits green light with a wavelength of 515 nanometers. So this right here is lambda. Calculate the frequency of the light. Now, the speed of light is in meters per second, whereas this is in nanometers. They have to both be the same in order for us to find the frequency using this formula. So let me write that down first. Frequency is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And I'm going to temporarily convert 550 nanometers into meters using the same conversion ratio as before. So 515 nanometers times 10 to the power of negative 9 meters per 1 nanometer. This will cancel out with this, leaving us only with meters. So we have 515 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Let's use our calculator to figure this out. 3.00 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by bracket 515 times 10 to the power of negative 9. This gives us approximately 5.82 times 10 to the power of 14. We need this to three significant figures. So it should be 5.83 times 10 to the power of 14. 5.83 times 10 to the power of 14 per second, or simply hertz. And there you have it. That is how to solve problems involving wavelength and frequency.